Hey, welcome to Jesus and the Tortilla. Like about a couple weeks ago, um, right now, White Castle's running 99 cent Sloppy Joes, 99 cent mini corn dog nibblers, and 99 cent mini, I don't know, mac and cheese nibblers. Now, I tried the um, corn dog ones, had a great experience, it was quick, easy. But then, a good buddy of mine, Ionicus Toys, um, check out his channel. Um, he said, you got to try the mac and cheese nibblers. And I trust him. So I went back. I did time it. But um, it was about 18 minutes. Pushing 20. <laughs> it did take a, <laughs> take a long time. So when I did get to the window... Um, very nice lady said, did you get the two chicken sliders? And I was like, no, that's not at all. But I just did, I did want the macaroni and cheese nibblers. And she reached over and she grabbed the bag. I, they'd probably been sitting here like 20 minutes, but she said, she handed them out through the window and it was it's like a dollar five. She's like, just keep your money. It's fine. Just take them. So we got... <laughs> Mac and cheese nibblers from White Castle. So, like, upside, it was a really long wait. Wait, no, downside. Downside, really long wait. Upside, it was free. I got free White Castle. So, here you go, Ionicus. I'm freaking doing the nibblers. And I did like the um, corn dog nibblers. I'll actually link that down below, like, professional YouTuber. What do you think of that? All right, here they go. Um... Looks like five of them. I think there was seven of the corn dog nibblers. Already, they're winning. But, um, you know what? The thing about these, I didn't want to get them. I'm just doing them to do them, because someone said to do them. I've, I remember, I went to a office party in the 90s, and I was supposed to bring a side dish. And they had just come out. It like GNS food, big bags of mac and cheese fried. It was like in the, you know, it was like the late 90s. So they really weren't perfected yet, but I bought this big bag of them. And for one thing, I cooked them at home and they're obviously they were cold when we got, I got there, but they just were horrible. And I, ever since then, I've just never wanted to try mac and cheese bites. But here we go. I trust, I trust my man. Here it is. They're nice looking. Look at that. Golden, maybe crunchy. All right. These are much better than the ones I served at my office party or my going away office party, whatever. These are good. These were fried, not baked in an oven. The mac and cheese. I gotta get a handle on that mac and cheese. I, I at first I was like, it's like Kraft mac and cheese, but no, I don't think so. It's a little bit better than that. Kraft mac and cheese. Oof. It's nice and soft in the middle. This is, wait this is worth waiting for. And you can get bigger sizes. I would have liked to have gotten a bigger size. Wow. These good. And by the way, they reheat well too. Mm. I know you're not supposed to reheat fast food for review, but it's an hour away. Shut up. Man. What that does, that is good. That is good mac and cheese. That's not crap. That's like a good, decent mac and cheese. Wow. These are good. 
Just because I'm wearing a White Castle shirt, it's not trying to pick up an endorsement. Or, <laughs> I just like to wear the shirt. Um, they're pooper good. They were dry. I'm sure they're going to be dry. I don't know. This review's kind of long. They're really good. Wow. Like 9.2. Nine Love you guys. Love you, babe.